Hello guys, in the previous video I talked about some basic concepts in trigonometry needed to uh, learn calculus, angle measurement, uh, right angle trigonometry, and trigonometric functions. In this video I'm gonna talk uh, a little bit more about those concepts and identities. The first one is trigonometric functions of important angles. Uh, for example, sine of theta, cosine of theta, and tangent of theta for angles like 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees. And we need to memorize those values. So I'm going to complete this table with those angles so we can uh, remember and memorize them uh, in for future uses. The first angle is uh, 0 degree. Uh, so zero degree is equivalent to zero radian. Uh, sine of theta for zero uh, degree is zero. Cosine of uh, zero is one. And tangent of zero is zero. Uh, please remember that uh, tangent of theta is equal to one over cotangent of theta. So uh, I uh, don't bring uh, the values of cotangent of theta in this table. Uh, yeah, that's the first angle. Uh, the second angle, most important angles, uh, is 30 degree. So 30 degrees uh, is equivalent to pi over 6 in radians. And sine of uh, 30 degrees is 1 half. Cosine of uh, 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. And tangent of uh, 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 3. Another angle, important angle, is uh, 45 degree which is uh, equivalent to pi over 4 in radians and uh, sine of 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2 cosine of uh, 45 degrees is similar to sine of 45 degrees square root of 2 over 2 uh, the reason is that if you look at the trigonometric circle here, this is cosine axis, this is sine axis, and uh, this angle is 45, uh, and uh, if you project this point over cosine, you see that you have a square. So this is square root of 2 over 2, and this is also a square root of 2 over 2. So that's why we have the same values for sine of 45 and cosine of 45 degrees. Uh, Tangent of 45 degrees is 1. Why? Because tangent of theta is equal to sine of theta over cosine of theta. And it's square root of 2 over 2 divided by square root of 2 over 2, which is 1. So that's why... Uh, we have one for tangent of 45 degrees. Another important angle is 60 degrees, which is equivalent to pi over 3. Sine of 60 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. Cosine of uh, 60 degrees is 1 over 2. Uh, if you pay attention, uh, sine of uh, 30 degrees is equal to cosine of 60 degrees and also 
sine of uh, 60 degrees is equal to cosine of 30 degrees so that helps uh, remember the values of these uh, trigonometric functions for, the, for these de degrees and tangent of 60 degrees is square root of 3 if you divide sine of uh, theta over cosine of theta you get uh, square root of 3 and the last important angle in this table is 90 degrees which is equivalent to pi over 2 sine of 90 degrees is 1 uh, if you look at uh, this circle again uh, you see that uh, this angle is this angle is 90 degrees and sine of 90 degrees is 1 the radius of this circle is 1 if you remember from trigonometry so that's why uh, for 90 degrees you are on the circle at this point and this is equal to 1 and uh, if you project that a point over cosine you see that you get the origin so that's why the cosine of 90 degree 90 degrees is 0 and uh, the tangent of uh, 90 degrees is 1 over 0 which is uh, which is an infinite value so yes uh, these uh, angles and these values are the most important uh, uh, angles in trigonometry that you need to remember for other uh, angles like uh, 26 degrees 72 degrees and so on uh, you need to use calculators to obtain the trigonometric values also we need to uh, memorize and understand the graphs of uh, basic uh, trigonometric functions sine x cosine x and tangent x uh, if you look at these graphs uh, you see that uh, sine x and cosine x uh, have uh, oscillatory uh, wavy character uh, and if you uh, if you look at the uh, sine x you see that for example at uh, x value of uh, 0 uh, absolutely x is in radians uh, at the x value of 0 sine of x is 0 at pi and 2 pi uh, sine of x is um, 0 but at pi over 2 which is equivalent to 90 degrees sine of x is 1 uh, and at uh, 3 pi over 2 uh, it is minus 1 for cosine x uh, at value of x equals 0 uh, cosine of x is 1 at pi over 2 it is 0 at pi it is minus 1 and so on and uh, for tangent of x which is uh, equal to sine of x over cosine of x uh, you see that uh, for example at uh, 0 x value of 0 tangent of x is 0 at pi over 2 uh, it is uh, infinite uh, as I show as I showed in the previous table uh, at pi it is 0 and uh, at 3 pi over 2 it is infinite and so on so uh, please remember uh, and memorize these uh, three graphs in trigonometry. You need to use them uh, to solve your problems in calculus. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below this video and I will get back to you as soon as I can. If this video helped you in any way, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you enjoy the contents and would like to see more. Thank you.